Hey, what's up? Tech 160 here. You get the idea. Anyway, just a quick little video. I'm going to show you how to enable the mouse on your Fire TV stick. First thing you're going to do if you haven't already is you're going to go to settings, scroll on over to device, then you're going to go down to developer options, apps from unknown sources. You want to turn them on. And ADB debugging, you might as well turn that on too. When you're done, hit the home button and then you can go to search or you could just do the Alexa voice search. Either way, you're going to go to downloader. You can start typing downloader and then you're going to go down once it appears. And you can also do it through the ES File Explorer, but right now we're just going to go to downloader. All right, looks like I already have it, but if you don't, go ahead and download it now. Well, I used to have it. I'm going to reinstall it now. Once it's done, go ahead and open it. Just hit OK, and then you're going to you're going to tab over left, hit the directional button left, go down to settings, and you want to enable JavaScript. So go ahead and make sure you check that box, say yes, and then go back up to home on the left hand side there. All right, this is where we're going to type in the URL, which is going to be which is going to be tinyurl.com forward slash fire tv mouse and this is going to work for your fire tv stick or just the fire tv all right after that's done go ahead and hit go and then just ignore the javascript that's already disabled and then it's going to download the mouse toggle for Fire TV. So go ahead and you're going to do the directional pad down and then go right to install and then the middle select button. And then you, you can see the app is installed. So you go ahead and open it. And we're just opening it really to check the settings. You don't have to open it. Um, enable mouse service on, auto start to mouse service on device startup on. Uh, so it looks good to go. We really don't have to mess with any of these settings. Go ahead and uh, hit the home button. All right, so now we'll test it out. Uh, go to YouTube. You can really go to any app you want just to test it out. If you do te try to test it out on the um, the home page, um, it does kind of freeze it up when you activate it. The mouse doesn't actually show up. So the way you activate it is you're going to double click the play button. And what that's going to do, uh, I'll do it right now. Double click the play button and you can see the mouse right there and you can move it around with the directional button. The way to get rid of it is you're going to hit the play button once and then the directional pad and it's going to disappear after that. So right now I'm moving it around if I want to get rid of it. As you can see you can select things with it. So I hit the play button and then the directional pad and it disappears and then now you're back to using the directional pad just to select things. If you want it back, you can toggle it on by double tapping the play button. Get rid of it by hitting play and directional. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if any questions, leave them in the comments below. I hope you found this useful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell notification. I'll have new videos coming out each week. And if you made it this long, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.